मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू माई सेल्फ ओबिक रॉय फ्रॉम द मैथमेटिक्स साइकोन चैनल योर मैथमेटिक्स टीचर सो एज यू ऑल नो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर दिस एल पी पी दिस चैप्टर इज कम्प्लीटेड एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए वेरी न्यू चैप्टर थ्री डायमेंशनल जियोमेट्री एंड एक्चुअली दिस चैप्टर यूज टू बी नोन एज द वेरी टफ चैप्टर एंड वेरी कॉन्सेप्चुअल एंड वेरी एक्चुअली क्लमजी चैप्टर ओके बट I want to tell you one thing that uh, this chapter is not tough. This chapter is not clumsy. If you just uh, have the clear ideas regarding 3D, regarding the dimensions, then this chapter is not going to be a tough one. Okay. So, in the junior classes till now, just we have been dealing with the uh, with the two dimension figures, two dimensions. That means only length and breadth. These two dimensions used to be there. but in three dimensions another dimensions will be added and that is height okay length breadth height now you should figure out some figures you should figure out some structures where this three dimensions are involved length breadth and height just if you consider this book in this book length okay just you can see length breadth and height theek hai so that means is book mein kitna dimensions hain length ye length hai ye breadth hai aur ye height hai so that's why this figure is three dimensional figure this mobile three dimensional figure length breadth and height so that means if in any figure this three dimensions are comprised can be introduced then this figure is called three dimensional figure that means if you want to deal with the three dimensions geometry then you have to deal with the three dimensions so length breadth and height so if you in, in the in the junior classes we had introduced two axes x axis and y axis for representing two dimensions length and breadth but in this three dimensions we will have to introduce three axes x axis y axis z axis for introducing for introducing three dimensions length breadth and height so that means it is your x axis y axis so in the junior classes we have got this three got this x axis x axis and y axis okay now in class 11 we will have to introduce another axis and that is called z axis for introducing the height of any geometrical figure okay so that means this figure is not like that this figure is not like that just you are drawing on the on the paper on the two dimensional figure that's why this part is look it seems like that but this part is not like that okay so if you consider this three dimensions it will be like that okay that means this three x axis y axis and z axis are the perpendiculars okay so if you consider this figure if you consider this figure just like that okay so that means this three dimensional axis seems like this that means e for that means between these two axis 90 degree angles 90 degree angle okay so that means this figure you can't represent this type of figure in the plane paper because this paper is two two dimensional axis and that's why this z axis is looking like that okay so this figure is three, three dimensional figure length breadth and this height okay so that means whenever just you are dealing with the three dimensional axis three dimensional geometry then you will have to consider this axis like that and you have to deal with the length breadth and height as well so in class 10th 
or class 11 we have got this two dimension geometry two dimensional geometry okay and in this two dimensional geometry part we have got many more uh, actually um, formulas many more concepts were there okay that means uh, if you have this two point x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 x1 comma y1 and x2 comma x2 comma y2 then the distance between two points as you all know x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square or x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square any one you can choose okay so it is the distance between two points now in this three dimensional geometry in this three dimensional geometry you will get one point coordinate extra that is x1 y1 and z1 okay it is your first point coordinate and another point coordinate is what x2 comma y2 comma z2 so here it is your basic difference between the two dimensional geometry and the three dimensional geometry only the structure of the point coordinates will be changed but rest of the things will be same and the formula will be like that only one structure will be added here and that is x2 minus x1 whole square that is same plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square only this part will be added in this three dimensional figure but rest of the formulas rest of the things concepts are same only the height portions will be added in this three dimensional geometry so whatever the formulas you have got in class 10 from two dimensional geometry that means coordinate geometry in cbsc in state board you have you might have got this uh, uh, chapter coordinate geometry and uh, there we had you had been in introduced uh, this uh, different concepts and different formulas regarding three dimensional geometry just like uh, uh, difference between uh, distance between two points and then uh, sectional formula that means if any line that means x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 that means if you are joining these two point you will get a line okay so if this line divided by the another line at a particular point and with the ratio m is to n okay then you can use they can you can find the coordinate of this point by using the sectional formula okay mx2 plus n x 1 by m plus n okay and uh, m y 2 plus n y 1 by m plus n now in this three dimensional figure one point coordinate will be added here and that is z 1 and here z 2 okay so there is the basic difference between two dimension and the three dimensions and that is why in the sectional part one point coordinate will be added and that is m z 2 plus n z 1 by m plus n just you can see the formula structure is same only everywhere just you can see one point coordinate is being added okay as the z coordinate so what is the difference between these two dimension and the three dimensions the difference between the two dimension geometry and the three dimension geometry is only one only one dimension will be added and that is height of any geometrical figure and if you take an example of any three dimensional figure that you can see this book is three dimensional figure okay so it is your length it is your length it is your breadth and it is your height that means wherever this you can see this height is involved this figure is called three dimensional figure that means whatever we see in this real world eh, in our surroundings that are all three dimensional figures okay okay so this is uh, enough for the basic concept of any three dimensional figures in this three dimensional geometry we will uh, discuss this three dimensional geometry in the next lecture elaborately okay by using the geometrical interpretation of any three dimensional figure okay we will discuss uh, very interesting things and uh, more and more concepts regarding this three dimensional geometry in the next lecture so for today that is enough let's meet in the next lecture 
सो थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग माई क्लासेस बाय एंड जय हिंद